So hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're stopping by today to give me a chance. Um, kind of bear with me. I'm still sick. I've been sick since the weekend. Uh, some kind of a uh, stomach issue that I've been having. Uh, and I've missed a few days of training, which sucks really bad because I didn't want to. But uh, I literally can't hold anything down, anything that I eat, uh, which is you know pretty shitty. And hopefully this with the medication stuff will get better. I want to get back into the gym like bad, um, but it just seems like the last week it's just been awful. But I'm not really here to talk about being sick and stuff. I actually wanted to talk about some of the cool things that we learned. It's not really cool. Maybe some revelations uh, from last night's stream with Mass Hole Report. Now, Tina Slay actually texted me and uh, told me that, hey, uh, I'm not going to want to miss the stream just due to what it's going to be about. And in the stream, this is where we found out a little bit more about our good old friend Bobby Laws, or Fred Gutierrez. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. And his wife, and some of the grifts they've been. Now we all know that Chili, you know, Sweetie is into grifts. We know this. There's, uh, you know, I've been in arguments with people in the comments. Are like, hey, how can you prove he's been doing this? Well, you know, there's a lot of people that has the evidence that the shit he's doing is not really good. You know, every stream it's like, get your wallet out, get your wallet out, let's crowdfund this, let's crowdfund that. Um, we see, like, they'll show receipts that, oh, this went to him, this went to her, but they're not really good receipts. They're kind of like, I don't know, put on a notepad or a word pad and just be like, hey, I gave money to this person through Vimno or Cash App. Uh, it's easy to do. I could do it. But that's just my opinion. I can't really, I can't really prove that. Uh, just my opinion. I, you know, I, I'm not going to bet my life savings on it, which I don't, don't have a life savings. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad. But anyways, we found out about Bobby Law, which was some pretty crazy stuff. I, I he's kind of been hidden a little bit. He's kind of been a dark figure that not very many people knows about. But there are some videos that Frog and uh, Mass Hole Report presented and shown uh, just kind of what kind of a person we're dealing with. Now, this person, uh, Bobby Laws, which, again, his name is Fred Gutierrez, and his wife is a part of the pro problem, too. Um, I don't know how Sweetie and Bobby Law met, uh, but apparently Bobby Law has been doing these kind of grifts for a long time, uh, offering financial help without any type of education or license to do so. Uh, getting money for shitty, basically, presentations like, get out of debt. Like, if with these steps, just do these things and you'll get out of debt. But give me the money so I can tell you about these things so you can get out of debt. But I also want the money. That's, that's an oversimplification of everything was going on. And everything I'm going to say is an oversimplification. Uh, if you really want the full story, uh, the full thing, I would go on Mass Hole Reports channel, check out her last stream. Uh, I believe it is titled uh, Live Dive into Bobby Law's, Bobby Law, the Elite Law Scamming Fake Lawyer. So, you know, this guy's not a lawyer. He's not. He doesn't have any type of uh, license to do so. Uh, same with Chili. He doesn't have a license to um, give out law advice. Uh, practice that. He's not a lawyer. He's not an educational constitutionalist. Or um, I I'm I'm winning all day today. Um, he's none of that. None of those guys are that. It's basically a big scam. Uh, and the best way I can compare it to is those infomercials, kind of like what you see today on YouTube and the ads where you get these guys come on there like, hey, I've got a lot of money. Let me tell you how I made this money with this five-step program. Just give me some money and I'll tell you how to do it. And most of the time, all this stuff is scams. A lot of it. Majority of it, actually. Um, none of this is actually going to work. And these people know that. But people like that prey on people that's maybe uneducated, or unsure, or you know, easy, easily, easily convinced uh, to do these things. Which that's a sad thing. That's a sad thing. The bad thing about these grifts and stuff like that is you know people that don't have a clear understanding of what's going on or looking some type of glimmer of hope or grieving 
you know, they look into these things because, hey, who doesn't want help? Everybody wants help. Everybody looks for some way to get out of their situation. I know I have. Uh, and I can tell you exactly uh, a long time ago, maybe five, six years ago, I was uh, living in Illinois for a little bit. And yeah, I think it was six years ago. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, I didn't have money. And so, you know, what I did, and this is basically, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I had, I did. Uh, I created a GoFundMe and people donated for me to pay my bills. Um, I felt terrible. I felt awful for doing that. Um, I didn't, I, I told exactly where the money was going and the money went exactly where it was going. But I literally opened up a GoFundMe for people to help me not be poor, not be out of anything. I mean, I only got like a couple hundred dollars. But still, that's I, I don't like to do that. That's the same thing. Like I don't get on here every stream or uh, YouTube video or short and be like, "Hey guys, if you want to, feel free to donate that money. Uh, open up your wallets, crowdfund me." Yeah, I have links in my description. It shows my PayPal, my Cash App, stuff like that. But I never like I I tell you guys, you know, most of the time. Uh, gas is, you know, four or five dollars a gallon right now. Everything is up. We're in, um, you know, getting ready to go into a recession with all this inflation that's going on. And, you know, food's gone up and everything. And, you know, I, I understand if you don't want to donate. And I'm not never want to press it. But these people try to make it seem like, hey, if you want this help, this proven help that's not proven or guaranteed, Give us the money, open up your wallet, and we'll do this. Uh, Sweetie does this all the time when he'll meet up with somebody and then say, hey, let's crowdfund. Every time. Every time. I mean, Deborah. Uh, see, Bobby Laws. Uh, I think he tried it with Great Lake Audits, uh, Denver uh, Metro Audits, and a few others. He asks, hey, send them the money. Send me the money, and I'll give them the money. Um which is pretty fucking shady, to be honest with you. It's it's pretty terrible. And apparently this is what Bobby Laws uh, and his little ventures, his little businesses, uh, this is the things they try to do. They try to take advantage of people that need help, needs help. Now, one thing we also learned that he is, he used to be a Mexican. He used to be. I don't know how you can change your race, but I, it's 2022. I guess weird things has happened. Uh, you can change whatever you want. Uh, if anything, I'm going to identify as a Xerox copying machine from here on out. So whenever you talk to me, I'm going to be like, hey, I used to be a Xerox copying machine. Used to be. Um, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> I don't know how I don't I don't get that mentality there with uh, Bobby Laws, but um, you know you you can't just like say hey I I'm no longer part of this race. Uh, well, actually, you are. You do have the traits. You have the hereditary. Uh, you have everything. You came from that country. Uh, you know the language. You know you have that blood in you. You have that skin color. You got you know, that cultural taste of it. You know what it is. You, you can't just be like, hey, I'm no longer Mexican when you are. It's like me say, hey, I'm no longer a white man, but I'm a white man. I, I used to be a white man. I You just can't do that. You just can't. I know a lot of people probably get mad about that, uh, but you can't just change your race. Uh, and, you know, I won't go any further than that because that will open up a can of worms that I really don't want to open uh, because there's... You know, a lot of people has different opinions on these things, and I don't want to be the one that pisses everybody off because of how I look at things. Uh, but you just can't do that, okay? You just can't. You just can't say, "Hey, I'm. I used to be this, but I'm not now." Um, you, something like that. Like, you know, I can't even get the words out. Disregard everything I said right there. Just uh, rewind it. Let's take it to the Wayback Machine. Uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's say, hey, you know what? We forget. Let's clean slate. Let's do this now. But, uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff that we got to see, some of the videos and everything, we got to see 
uh, a little bit more information on Bobby Laws. Uh, apparently, he's been at this for years. Uh, this isn't his first grifts. In some cases, he might even be worse than Sweetie. And like I said, I'm not going to completely divulge on everything because I believe Frog and Kate's uh, Masshole deserve more uh, views than this. Uh, they deserve to show the story in full. Uh, I just want to sh let you know what I think about it. Um, but if you wanted to know about Bobby Laws, if he's a scammer, then the answer is ultimately yes, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions. Is he a grifter? Yes. Is he bad? Yes. Uh, it's bad news. Bad news. Uh, and it seems like he had these greasy little fingers, him and his wife, and uh, probably his whole family was into this big grift together. Uh, again, I can't really prove these things. Uh, just going what we heard on the videos and what we've talked about on the Mass Holes uh, stream. Uh, now he does, I believe he has eight children, um, which is crazy. Uh, somebody in the stream said he has an entire basketball team, which it's kind of funny. Um, and one of the funny jokes was like maybe uh, she, like Bobby Law's kids, can go up against Chrissy Rohn's kids in a basketball game. I thought that was priceless. That was a really good joke. Uh, or, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, he is a sovereign citizen. Um, he kind of basically said so at the beginning of his video whenever he was doing his Hawaii thing, calling Hawaii a country, which it's a state. It's, it's not not a country. I don't care what you say. It's a it's a state. Don't don't fucking try that shit. Uh, it's not true. Uh, but yeah, it's there's some pretty interesting stuff on there. Like if you if you get a chance, just take a look at it. Um, and I believe they did a lot of research on the Wayback Machine. Um, and like I said, I don't really want to completely divulge into a lot of it because uh, again, Masshole and Frog did all the research. Uh, I'm just a fat nerd that's regurgitating what I think. Uh, well, I, I need to stop doing that, by the way. I need to stop talking bad about myself. But guys, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know if you guys got to watch the actual stream. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, again, Frog and Masshole has done a hell of a job uh, bringing this stuff to light. Um and I, I feel like more and more things is going to come out throughout the next uh, week or two that may shock us. Um, maybe, maybe. But again, also, uh, another thing is, you know, where I've been sick, I haven't been able to really get to the gym, but a couple of days um, in the week, uh, I was going to go yesterday, but still got sick. Uh, today I'm sick. Um, I want to get to the gym, but I don't know if I'm going to get to. Um it's just like anything I eat or try, to, I, I just can't hold it down, which sucks really bad. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to uh, Gia, by the way. Uh, Gia is really awesome. Um, I don't know if I completely lost her, um, but um, I, I noticed there has been some uh, people that's been leaving the channel. And I think a lot of it has to do with me, the way I talk about myself how I feel about myself and uh, my fiance tries to tell me all the time that I'm, you know, worth this and this, I shouldn't be talking. And I, I've always been hard on myself and it's always been that way. Um, but uh, gee, if you're watching, I definitely apologize. I hope you come back. Um, I hope I can kind of prove you guys that uh, I can do this, that I can stop hurting myself uh, mentally because that's, it's unhealthy and, I need to fix these things uh, in the future. But guys, I'll definitely love you very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, get your wallets out and let's uh, let's uh, let's pay all our debts and give me all your money. Just give me all of your money, um, every single bit of it, like all of it. Like I I, I don't even care. I just want all. Your, no, don't fucking do that. Don't do that at all. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. But guys, I love you very much, and I'll see you soon.